tremendous looking trophy. Have you got the phase and profiles ready? Yeah, we're, we're good to go. We're good to go. Welcome everybody to Platinum Explosion. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to interrupt one. you right there, Donald. Did you see that the South Park uh, Fractured Butthole Trophy is alive? I did, alive? but you're fucking Woo! bringing the, the, the segment. Now, for some reason, I feel like if Tom was the main co-host of this show, hashtag every trophy counts wouldn't be like the last segment on the show. It would be the first segment on the show. Potentially the only segment on the show, depending <laughs> on uh, Dylan, depending Dylan. on how many trophies there are to talk about. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to you to decide right now. Who 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 is your more comfortable co-host currently? Your arch nemesis that attempts to kill you every other week, or the man that interrupts you at every turn? Like, look, I feel like he's honestly both my arch en- enemies on this fucking podcast because he's one tries to kill me and one just tries to kill the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just providing the content that uh, that I think you want. The people demand it. Mm. Number one PlayStation podcast in the ocean is where we talk about all the PlayStation news and games and stuff. Don't we, Thomas? And trophies. We certainly do. Do we? <laughs> and also joining us, that was that was Kieran. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you missed me the last couple of weeks, there is a montage of my murder attempts on Dylan. Oh, you know. It'll be on my To be fair, I listened to last week's episode, hosted by one Ashley. And even then, they're like, Kieran's probably killed him. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't make sense in the storyline because Ash was like, he's left me these notes, but he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> really? From beyond I the grave. grave yes, from beyond the grave, I'm like, this stuff. Yeah, for, from beyond the grave, I'm like, ruin our trophies he's breaking of spoilers. Ugh. <laughs> All right, let's uh, talk about some PlayStation news. First story, PS Plus games got revealed. Yeah, they did. We're mm. getting... A great fucking month. Um, mm. The main game, I already have. But it doesn't matter. I always get so... I feel like I've said this before, but I get so annoyed when I look in the comments and people are like, yeah, cool games would have got them. Like, can't wait. Give me something I don't have. Like, they complain. It's like, look, judge the month of PlayStation mm. Plus games on quality, not if you fucking have them or not. If, uh, we're getting if you Melgas- already have it, I'll tell it, let you in on a little secret. There are these... I, most people call them shops. Some people call them mm. stores. Um, where you can actually go with games that you already own, give mm. it to them, and they will give you either cash money or slightly higher value than the cash money credit for that store. What if I'm part unless, of the digital master race? Yeah, unless you're like Kieran or Nicholas who are just like, oh, I'm too lazy to go to the fucking store. I'll just pay no, $40 no, 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 no. extra. It's not, the, it's not the fact that I'm too lazy <laughs> to go to the store. Fault. I'm too lazy to change the discs. Oh my I, fucking My life God. is too convenient now where discs are not required. What, are, what is that I can see on the, uh, the table behind you there, Kieran? Are they DVD know. boxes? Are they game boxes? They're certainly uh, physical Oh, no, they're the Nintendo Switch boxes. And there's Diablo there, but that's because I didn't want to pay full price for Diablo. Because I wanted to play with you, Tom. You... And we played together once. Phrasing. So... Well, you could take that either way, audience. Mm. <laughs> you can't even getting, stand by your own rules. We're getting Metal Gear Solid V, <laughs> The Phantom Pain this month, and we're also getting the Amnesia Collection on PS4. Um, both uh, Now, here's the thing. Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. I have, we've spoke about this game several times on this show. I'm in the camp of I love that fucking game. It's like one of the best PlayStation 4 games. I th- it's my favorite Metal Gear game. The gameplay in that game is amazing and everyone just complains about the story and i'm like oh, i don't fucking care like the story was nonsense in all those games anyway who cares um and amnesia collection i've never played My the God. dark descent do it i should play it do it i did play the um a machine for pigs the difference is they were made by two different companies so amnesia the dark descent was made by whatever company and then machine for pigs was made by I'm forgetting the companies, but the the developer who made like uh, everybody's gone to the Chinese and stuff like room. That. Chinese room, thank you. The Chinese so, room. The Chinese room. I played um, Machine for Pigs uh, when it came out on my the PC Master Race system thingy. Um, it is Nerd. an interesting game. From what I've watched of Let's Plays compared to The Dark Descent, they're completely different games, and they just kind of tagged Amnesia onto the second. They one. don't have the only thing I will say compared to say Outlast. I love it. Amnesia's got a special place in my heart because I remember playing Outlast and the end of Outlast ruins the entire rest of the game. 
that. doesn't ruin it. It is shit. It doesn't ruin it. it. For me, it ruins it. it has, it's got a weird place where I'm just like, Re- uh, don't, I'm not getting into it. Amnesia, though, fantastic game. Has got a lot going on. Did you play it. a machine for pigs? I did. I played both of them. And I liked okay, both of them. And I enjoyed them. They, yeah, I liked Machine for Pigs too, so I'm, I'm excited. Thomas won't play any of these games because he doesn't like horror games. I played Screw. none of those spookies. Screw. In fact, no, I did I did play some of Outlast. Um, mm. So I Tom's got, playing our horror Plus, games for uh, Extra Life. Yeah, I went into the house. I think I turned left. And then I turned around, and then I went back the other you way. You got you left. You left. Did you get to in Outlast? Did you get to the moment where the the body drops through the roof, and that's like the first jump scare in the game? That is precisely where I quit yeah, the I game. Yeah, I figured that. You <laughs> saw that thing drop through the roof, and you left. Right? And I went, totally no, cool fuck it. this shit. <laughs> that's, I went, that's the I went, first jump take, scare in the game. It's so. taken me about an hour to get here because <laughs> I've just been creeping as slowly as possible around this whole house, and I didn't enjoy a single second of it. And that's why. <laughs> You can watch me play it for extra life because extra it's life gonna be awful. I'm so excited already. It makes me so. You're not like, gonna get scared with us all around you, surely. Now we'll all have well, to shut the fuck up and put headphones no. on. No, well, yeah, no, that's... he has to play with surround sound headphones on. We have to take headphones, yes. put those on. We'll still be able to hear through stream, but he has to play through headset. That's why yes. I thought I'd put it at like the two o'clock slot. Yeah, when everybody's I'll be asleep, tired, and I'll be. Even though you know, we've I'll, got I'll stay. I'll, I'll stay and... up to tickle behind your ear. No, I'm saying up. I want to see this part. I want to do the overnight because the overnight's no. where all the fun random stuff happens. No. But well, I got what I will say about Metal Gear Solid. For it, it's got a good point and a bad point. Good point for all those people that were like, I don't know if I can get into Metal Gear Solid because it's the fifth entry. How do I know? They can just jump in and have a look at it now because it's free. Mm-hmm. Bad thing. I want to support Konami. I don't want to download that game. Well, I, yeah, that's the. Hmm. Well, I, I mean, you're kind of supporting him by already being subscribed to PlayStation Plus because they got the money, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like we assume, like, we assume that because we don't know all of the inner workings of how PS Plus goes. So they no. they they may get a certain payment for offering the game, and then additional payments based on um, downloads or purchases from PS Plus. So. Maybe yeah. because I Don't wasn't know. going to play it anyway. I won't redeem that. Don't. Don't it, redeem it. If you that's my only principle of it is that I don't like what they did to Kojima so I'm, hmm. that's the only reason I don't like what they did. I'm not buying any I'm also like I won't buy or play any Konami games anymore. But that was the DA's last game. I'm like, uh, like hmm. just download it. Yeah. I'd say download it. Well, I I haven't played a Metal Gear game. To this point, don't need to. Don't and need to. Yeah, I, I've I've gotten this far. They're not making any more because that zombie one doesn't count. I don't think. No, no. Um, why why would I bother whatever. starting now from five plus various spin off type things? The best Metal Gear Solid game to play if you was only going to play one would honestly be five because no one. The story is so minimal, and you that's could the miss, reason that everyone hates like, it. You can quote unquote finish the game without. Seeing half of the story, yeah, half it's the like, story is locked away and it's stupid. Yeah. But how? But it has the best gameplay where, it, what, and mission structure. Two things and everything. Where is the story locked? Where do they? So put it? there's like an act one and act two. Yeah. For for most normal gamers, the game ends at act one, but there mm-hmm. is a, like a set amount of things you have to do to unlock act two. So when you finish oh. the first act, for some reason, but I presume this is like one of the production issues or something where they're like, well, we've just fired him, so we better wrap up the game or something like that. They're like, to unlock, like to progress further in the game, like get the next story section, you have to replay missions you've already done on a harder difficulty. Oh, that's... And bullshit. then you replay like 20 missions on like hard. And you have to get like a high you, ranking, don't you? You can't even... Just... You have to get like a high ranking and then you get to do another mission um, that involves uh, quiet and then the story like progresses on through there um, towards like the quote-unquote actual big reveal finish to the game. Um, great game. I love it. I put like nearly 150 hours into it to platinum it or something. Yeah, you got the platinum it's trophy. fantastic. I saw it is... I love it. So if the gameplay is anything like... Gameplay's uh, amazing. Gameplay's fantastic. What was it, one? Ground Zeroes? Yeah, it's better. It is, but it's better. It's It's like more refined, and it's also like... That was like a very constricted, small area, whereas 
it's I, I just I still haven't played any game like it where it's like here's your mission structure you've got to go do something in this town but you're in the middle of the de desert you can choose what gear to come in you can sneak around on your horse you can try and come in from this other direction you can put camo like the the amount of options and ways to tackle missions is ridiculous it's, it's just like level, even to the point where the one of the early missions you can actually complete the mission before the mission even happens and mm -hmm. then they actually had an audio like already recorded for it. So when you start the mission, the game realizes you've already done it, and it's legit like, "Oh, Snake, you are that good. You've already done this mission. That's a pass," and gives you a perfect ranking for it. And you just keep going. Also, it has a good horse in it. Good horse. Good control horse. Mechanics. Good horse controls. Better, Better than, than Roach. Roach. Better yeah. than Roach. I, Better than Roach. I could feel that coming. <laughs> It's because Roach is a terrible horse. But yeah, no, I, I I played because um, Ground Zeroes was free a couple of years ago. Um, mm. Obviously, I didn't in, like it much. I, I, I didn't. It. I didn't like it at all. Um, I remember the ending of that? Right. It was so random, and I was so confused. Mm -hmm. I, uh. I even tried to play it twice. Um, and it, yeah, it just did nothing for me. I after um, I platinum Phantom Pain, I was like. All right, I'm on a roll of Metal Gear at the moment, so fuck this. I'm gonna re I'm gonna reboot up Ground Zeroes, and I'm gonna go get all the trophies and that as well, so I can have them all. And I started playing Ground Zeroes again, and I like uh, after having been playing Phantom Pain, I was just like, nah, there's not as much customization. Nah, there's no D Dog. Nah, fuck this. I D Dog. D Dog yes. is amazing. <laughs> D Dog finding D Dog, launching mm -hmm, him grow him. is just. Yeah, Let, slight slight spoiler for Phantom Pain, which is out. A, a reason you should play the game is uh, early in the game you're walking along or whatever, and there's like a little tiny puppy just kind of walks up to you, and you're like, "Snake's like, oh, like whatever," and then you're like, <laughs> "Full tone him back to base." So. <laughs> Faltering. <laughs> so if you haven't seen it, Faltering in the game is literally you tied like a explosive balloon to the thing's backs, and you shoot them up into the air, and that's how you collect things. So, but you can do that to anything. If Everything you in the game. If you want to recruit people, you knock a sheep, you, enemies, vehicles. <laughs> you you knock somebody out. You tie a balloon to their back and you fire them into the air. Mm. It's, like it's, just, it's so weird because the game has like a billion trillion guns. It's like rocket launchers, whatever else. And I just played through the whole game with a um, sleep dart gun because it's like you, well, you know what I want to do. I want to shoot that guy in the head with a dart, put him to sleep, and then watch that motherfucker fly up into air in a balloon. <laughs> The game's so silly, but I don't know. Anyway, I don't. Uh, I think it's great. Everyone talks shit on it. I love it. I, w I wish I could play it again. Like I wish I could wipe. It's one. Grand Metal Gear Solid Five is one of the games where I'm like, I wish I could just wipe my memory of that game, and just, just experience and play it all again. Because I had such a blast playing it. I was like, I just couldn't get enough. You're doing it a lot to sell it to me, but it's like a fun it. game. Don't download it. Mm. It's a fun game. Please download it. Uh, what was that of it? Let me see. The PS3 stuff is Monster Jam, Battlegrounds, Hustle Kings, and then you get Cross by Vita, PS4, Hue, and Sky Force Anniversary. But all you really need to worry about is playing some scaries and, and amnesia, or yeah. That, that is where they're... you are incorrect, Dylan. Sky because... Force, the other ones, do they have separate trophy lists? Let's go with that one, because that's what you're going to go into. Sky Force, no, it's doesn't. not. Doesn't it? it doesn't have no. Sky, Sky Force is cross by on three, four, and Vita, and mm -hmm. it's got a platinum trophy, I think. And it mm -hmm. reminds me of Raptor. If you played Raptor on PC, uh, and I quite like the look of that, so I think I'm going to play it. Maybe on Vita, but maybe on PS4. And Hue, Hue is a game that you absolutely should not overlook. It's like four or five hours, I think. Um, Great. What's your pick then? Let's start doing changing. picks. Every month when we talk PS Plus games, we can't just argue about whatever the best one is. Let's let's start new segment or well, not segment. We'll just we'll just each do picks from now on. Hugh. My pick is Metal Gear Solid Five. Yours is Hugh. Yeah, mine's Hugh. Mine's Amnesia. Okay. Oh, look at the controversy. Glad, glad to see we've got consensus there. Yeah. <laughs> my my notes on the other two. I'm pretty sure we've had Hustle Kings already. We did have Hustle Kings already. Was it on PS3 or it was three only already? PS3. Yeah, it was on PS3. So this is the so. second time we've had Hustle Kings Wait, on PS3. Wait, is it the yeah. second time, like, recently? Or is it, like, a couple years ago? No, like, ago? two years ago, probably. Oh, I was, was going to say like, 18 months, but recently enough that I, I remember that I don't understand if it was, it was like, an thing. ongoing thing, but okay. Nah. It's like, and then, it's like, who cares what's on PS3 anyway, really? Monster Jam Battlegrounds, I put a little note. Do we still need PS3 games? 
Yeah, we don't. I'm we pretty do sure don't. we should just we don't. Give, us a VR, give us VR experiences. We get it, get rid of two PS3 games and get to the stage where you're just doing it like one VR game. I'd be happy with that. I don't need two VR games. One VR yeah. game. I could I'm even fine. be happy with one Vita game because they're really Most not... Most of the time given... they cross by with PS3 anyway and it's just like... Yeah. They're not like proper, quote unquote, proper proper Vita game. No, they're, they're not giving out Vita games. They're giving out PS4 games that happen to be crossed by just to sort of save face kind of thing. Just just stop it. Really? Mm. Well, I'm, I'm quite happy getting the games, but I want I want no PS3 games, and I wouldn't even mind missing out one of the, the Vita games if it came to it. Yeah, I agree. I'm fine with that. Um, that was, of a story that... Uh, came out only just today they'll please some people and it'll please nick i suppose well actually no because he already brought the fucking he brought a pc but PUBG is apparently coming to ps4 i don't really i don't really think it's the end of the world news story because i mean it's one of these xbox things where they're like it's an exclu it's not re- it's it's coming to our console it's an exclusive. I'm just. I'm not. Say, I'm uh, not gonna <laughs> like. I don't. When you sent this, I looked at it and I went, "Yeah, but I've read six articles that say it is, and six articles that say it is." Yeah, it's like what's and they all come out on um, separate weeks. So Brendan um, Gre- Brendan Green said it like this one though. Yeah, but so. Brendan Green, like somebody else from their company, said no, it's not coming. Like a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna. I will believe it once it's out. I believe it will come because it's the biggest game out at the moment. If that game is not in, it depends on rulings. But if that game is not in contention for game of the year, I think people have a, like need to maybe change what game of the year is because that's been the biggest game of the year. Just because it's, it's biggest doesn't mean it's worthy of game of the year for all the different things it gets. I voted think when for. people look back at this year in however many years time they're going to look back and say this was the year of player and no battlegrounds it's everywhere no it i is think everywhere i think people will look back and say it's the year of zelda and horizon and maybe odyssey as well i think horizon loses out in the conversation it's, to it's the year of the switch exactly so horizon it probably actually is the year of the switch to be honest it, 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 it really is especially if if odyssey is i know, I know it's it a playstation like podcast but it's like considering nintendo's last couple of years like the amount of hours and time I've put into my Switch is already like a million times more than I've put into my Wii or Wii U. It's like probably year of Nintendo, really. Hopefully. Unless they fuck it up <laughs> major. <laughs> you know what? To make it year of Nintendo, just just add your own then then trophies or I don't know. <laughs> Nintchievements. <laughs> Nintchievements. I'm like I I, I I'm in two minds about the whole PUBG thing because it can it comes to PlayStation, great. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. And uh, even in a year's time when it does come, it'll be finished maybe if we're lucky, um, and it, we get a, a non early access release or or something like that. Um, but at the same time, it did uh, Tomb Raider no favors when it had one year exclusivity on Xbox, which is a shame because that game was fantastic. Um, but it just split the mar- split its think, sort of fan base and I think you could bury apples to oranges though with um, Tomb Raider and Player Unknown. I don't think I think Player Unknown I don't think they're gonna wait a year. I don't think they're gonna wait a year, but at the same time I think the hype seems to keep going with this game. It seems to keep going. When I thought I called it like in probably May and I was like, no this game's gonna die. This game's gonna die. Nobody and then it's still everywhere. So um, Maybe true, uh, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess we but soon find out. I know but, there's a lot of like PlayStation fans that don't want to like buy an Xbox or a PC to play this. Um, I, I know a lot of people. I've seen people already like just fuck it and go to PC, like the last straw, just to play this damn game. So I suppose any sliver of news is pleasing people who want to play it. Um, I think they're. I think they're personally. I'm like, I wouldn't buy a PC to play this nah. or an xbox i'd rather buy a 
fucking I'll tell people to buy a Switch for other games over this. See, what I need is PUBG to not come out with some absolutely horseshit online trophy list like uh, Friday the Thirteenth that expects oh, me will. to play it will. a it will, thousand it matches will. or Fortnite. That's like a pa- a pa- I was listening to something talking about Fortnite, and they were like, "It's going to take you a thousand hours to platinum this game." Do like, yourself a favor. There was, Just accept the fact now. It's going to have a terrible online trophy list. Just accept that's, it. That's yeah. I won't plan on it. No, that's that's a a, a a terrible shame. Speaking of Friday, I need to play more Friday because they've released more stuff. Have you, I don't yeah, know if you saw that a couple of weeks ago they released a, ro- a roadmap of what they're releasing. Yeah, I saw the single player and there's like a, a museum room. There's a museum and room, and then they've also got like um, more Jasons being released, more costume packs, new maps. Yeah. Um, great. I'll play some more. I'll some play more heaps more because that's all On we Twitch do. TV slash Explosion Network. Network. <laughs> that's all we. That's all we stream, people. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stream it all just for a whole weekend. All right, moving on. <laughs> uh, so I want to talk about Dangan Rumpa. Dangan Rumpa. Uh, true. Uh, what's this one called? V Free Killing Harmony, which was out last week in the English language speaking countries because it came out in Japan in like fucking. February. Anyway, Vita game. So it's it's worth talking about simply for the fact it's a uh, it's a game you can buy for your Vita, and it's a Vita franchise. I played it on PS4 because that's quotes. what the lovely guys. I that's that's what the lovely people supplied the Explosion Network a code for. Thank you very much. I would have preferred to play it on, v- but nonetheless, like don't <laughs> stop. Mean, don't don't kick a gift horse stop in the it. mouth. Stop it. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to. I'm just, From now on, we get the Vita the, code of everything. Thanks, I played Dylan. the other ones on Vita. It was a weird experience playing Dangan Romper on my on my big TV. I'm like, I played for this entire franchise on a screen this big, and now I'm suddenly looking at this damn killer teddy bear on my giant TV. I'm like, wow, you're scary in real life, dude. Like, Monokuma, <laughs> come the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> It was um, so easy to think I could just squish you when you were on a five-inch screen, but yeah, now you're yeah. at 70 inches. Yeah, it's, really, it's just really scary. Um, I got a review up for this game. You had to, it was it? ExplosionNetwork.com slash reviews. You can read it. Um, but does, 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 I was going to play Q&A of what, if no one here's played Danganronpa, why it doesn't interest you? Or is it just And is it just because you don't like the idea of visual novel games? Um... I'm going to be perfectly honest here. This is a safe space here on Platinum Explosion. You don't own a Vita? No, I own a Vita. I own a okay. Vita. I have no idea what it is. You have no idea? Okay. I only, only recently... What the Vita? Only... It's, a, it's a handheld that uh, <laughs> Sony <laughs> I know. Produces. We all know you know, know what the fucking Vita. Vita is. I don't know what the Vita is, Mr. <laughs> Vita himself. No, no, no. I don't know what the game is. Like, I know... I always remember seeing the teddy bear thing. Like, the half black... I've got one on my bed. Thing? The teddy bear? I've seen that There's one places. right behind me. And, and then I, I saw you post a picture, and I was like, wait, what? Whoa, okay, I know where that came from now, but yeah, I have no idea what the game is. How about you, Tom? Uh, I did try and play it on... The first one, Trigger the, Happy the Havoc? first one on Vita. Uh, mm-hmm. It was some time ago. I could probably tell you with a relative ease. I don't really need to know exactly when it was. Uh, well, I think everybody <laughs> deserves oh, to know really when it was. <laughs> It was PS profile two years Tom. ago. Actually, it was it was this fucking o- website needs a sponsor. Add it to the list of possible sponsors. Do, 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 do. Octo- October of two thousand and fifteen. Um, oh, yeah, I don't and know. Wh- and how'd you go? I don't know why, why I like picked it? it up. I think they were both just on special. And I'd heard so much about them. Um, I think it was in the same way that I have to be in the right mood to play a Telltale game, where you're kind of mm-hmm. paying attention yeah. to the story and the decisions yeah. that you're making and that sort of stuff. That, well, it's basically a book. Yeah, that I needed to be in a in the mood to pay attention mm-hmm. to what was going on, reading the dialogue, figuring out who the characters are, and all that mm-hmm. sort of stuff. I got as far as the first trial, um, mm-hmm. and it just confused the fuck out of me. Like, <laughs> okay, let me. I had me, no idea ex- what I was supposed to be doing. That even I'll though I think the tutorial told me. Um, for uh, I, for the sake of listeners and Kieran, so Dangan Rompa. I think I said, the first one's still probably one of my favorite games. Like two, two I liked fine. Three, go re- I gave a seven, um, so I liked fine as well. It's like whatever. But the first one still just stands out as like this. It, there's no experience. I suppose especially if you don't have what it's about spoiled, and you can't just go in like 
It's a visual novel game about like killings in a high school or something. You go in, you're like, what the fuck is going on? Um, so visual novel games, if you don't know what they are, they're basically, you just read a whole bunch of fucking text and it's like reading a book because you just read characters interact with each other constantly. They're like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And Danganronpa is like split up into three sections. Um, so you have class life, basically, where you walk around, you can like talk to characters and stuff like that. And then you have deadly life, which is after a killing happens and you have to investigate, find clues, stuff like that. And then you get to the trial, which is very much like a... If you've ever played Ace Attorney, it's kind of like that, but a little bit more complicated. Ace Attorney's great. It's on the 3DSs and the... I love Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney's, Ace Attorney's great. great. So Objection! Hit Dang- yeah. So Danganronpa is like Ace Attorney or like a Professor Layton kind of game, I suppose. Mm-hmm. But it's more mature... A lot more violent uh, swear words, uh, a lot of sexual conduct. I, I, I feel weird to just chuck out the typical Japanese game stuff, but I mean, that's it's typical Japanese anime crap, to be honest. Um, but you also, so Danger Rob has set up as a bunch of kids in a high school. They wake up, they don't know who the fuck, what's going on. All of a sudden, this teddy bear called Monokuma pops down. He's like, You're gonna kill one another. And then when one of you kills someone, they're going to have a class trial. And if you can't figure out who the killer is, I'm going to kill all of yous. And then the killer gets to get free. But if you can figure out who the killer is, I'll just kill the killer and the game will continue. And that's Danganronpa. And it's great. And the characters are awesome. Most of them are awesome. But, and then you get a kill, kill a turtle bear. It's Monokuma. It's great. Everyone should check it out. It's really cheap. It's one of the best Vita games. The second one's on an island. The second one's on an island. Yeah. <laughs> and the third one got a 7.0 on the Explosion Network. <laughs> be, 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 be. There we are. So that's my, uh, that's my thing. I don't know. They, they, I think they're more suited for Vita uh, 2 because, like, the fact that they're basically... Vita 2? The v- sh- t- 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 Confirm- oh, oh as well. The Vita yes. as well. Um, Back in your pants, I, Tom. I, Back in your I pants just, now. I just think it's like, because you're reading a book, they're kind of more suited for something you can chuck in like like you can you can play them on your, your commute or whatever mm. the hell else and stuff like that because it it's like you don't need to sit in front of your tv to play these games i don't think so. yeah I, th- I think but, i i could be interested in giving it another shot i would start from the start but given yeah, that definitely in the last two years i've certainly started reading a lot more comics um, and even the odd novel here and there mm-hmm. so I'm on. Well, Danger Robert has like a comic book art style as well, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so I, I, I'm do... probably more inclined, or my head is in a much better space to be actually consuming that sort of media, I guess, and and yep. having to think in that kind of way. Because if you don't read a lot, it's hard. It's hard. Do you? Yeah. Is there crossover between the games? Like, is there like? Is it, there's a continuing story? There's yeah. a continuing story. Okay. Uh, Mostly that the bear to, wants to kill you. Yeah, number three was supposed to be like a soft reboot, but like without spoiling it, by the time you get to the last chapter, they just like tie a whole bunch of crap back into the previous two games, kinda. And it's like, I, I suppose if you've never played number two, you could be like, uh, okay, what's happening? But I think it's something you'd appreciate more if you had played number two. Yeah. And there's a spin off one that I haven't played on the Vita as well, but. Nick's um, crap, so. Is that Ultra Despair, Ultra Despair Girls. Girls? That's like right. A third person shooter or something like that. Um, the the story the the story in that kind of spoils one of the big uh, big reveals in the first game, so it's it's, it's kind of hard, I suppose, to talk about. All right. <laughs> Breaking news: A new yes. PlayStation VR model is coming. What? With a much requested feature. What? PlayStation has announced a brand new... Well, Nick just shared it. A brand new model PlayStation VR unit. It has a feature that should have been there day one and many people have wanted. Is it Uh, 4K pass-through or HDR pass-through? It is HDR pass-through. Where the fuck is this story? Slimmer connection cables and an HDR pass-through. All I want... or The processing box will not be compatible with the existing PSVR unit. 
I found it. That's fucking so you have to ridiculous. Buy, so you can't even just replace a part. You have to I, buy a whole new unit if you want HDR. Wow! I want a, a new box that passes HDR through, then I can leave my VR permanently plugged in. And never have to worry about it. I can easily unravel the cable backwards and forwards. We're away fucking laughing. But that's a little bit bullshit. And I'm almost certain that I'm going to trade my existing one into EB and get the new model. Really? Do you think there's enough? I'm like... A, I'm, I'm like... I don't think it's worth trading in. Because you probably still have to pay like $200 difference by the time you trade it in or something. I was just it? thinking I could probably pay about $200 for that. Because what it's going to mean, it's going to mean that I will play VR a lot more. Because I don't have to fuck around with cables. I'm not not setting it up each time or remembering if I have it set up or do I I need to? What what am I about to play? Does it have HDR? Is that something I want? Yes, I do because my TV. Like, if I don't have to think about it and it's going to get me in VR more, which I'm certain it will, then kind of well, sign me up i've changed my mind from saying that that's fucking me. ridiculous it was one of the things that confused <laughs> me when it first came out because the playstation pro was so close and it just seemed like two two departments of sony just did yeah, not talk know. to each it was other a weird it was, it was a weird decision they made a very weird decision the, they're yet to share the launch timeline um and that will be shared at a later date so maybe at psx or maybe even at paris games week alongside dreams we get more information yeah um paris games weeks makes sense because it's like it's not a huge show but it's the, the, like an updated vr and it's the kind of thing you could reveal there it's not like a huge psx i think this it would be psx news if it was like psvr 2.0 or two like a, something more substantial like it's like, oh, it can now, it has more sensors, like an extra sensor. Like my dream scenario, the, the, the add on sensor bar, the put behind, updated move control, like that kind of stuff you could announce at PSX. Like yeah. we've updated the controllers, we've got new move controllers, but they're not called move, they're just like better ones or something like that. You don't need to announce this at PSX, I don't think. So that's, that's fine, I think. That's fine. Well, there's your breaking news. Let's talk about the big news of the week, though Red Dead 2 trailer. Oh, that probably oh. is uh, is bigger news. And oh, wait a minute, that was my boner hitting the underside of my desk. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, at least tell, tell me. All right, so for anyone that doesn't, I haven't finished Red Dead. I started it um, a little while ago. Once I'll ago. probably finish it hopefully before the second uh, one comes out. You're fired. Um. <laughs> Why? Oh, it's Tough just... fire me for not playing this game. Yeah, it's a game that I didn't play Grand Theft Auto Five either. <laughs> wow. You, yeah. you should have no opinion on this. Wait, what? You I don't have any You haven't played Grand Theft Auto Five. No. Maybe I'm you are what? how it keeps selling as well as it does. I've brought it twice. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> you are the problem. Wait, wait, you are wait. the problem. You are the problem. Wait, you bought wait, GTA I... Five twice? <laughs> I brought it. The I, I saw and in, played it. How I never many bought times it day one. Zero. <laughs> I haven't even opened it once. I've never played the opening chapter. I've never started it. I I brought the steel book on PS3. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> yeah. I still own it. I've never used it. Me too. And apart then, from I did and finish then, the game. <laughs> when they um then they announced it was coming to PS4 and I was like sweet I'll finally play it on PS4 I'll just wait so I pre-ordered it to get that million dollar bonus online stuff. I got that. You didn't even know sh- what the online was. <laughs> it sat on my shelf for about a year, and then I traded it in to get my Switch this year. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. my Grand Theft Auto copy, my Grand Theft Auto Five copy, was well worth spending a hundred dollars to gather dust and then fuck off and become a Mario console. <laughs> <laughs> to become GTA Mario with Mario Odyssey yeah, coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, let's talk. Uh, some talk about. Red Dead, someone who cares. You, you got such a hard dick, Thomas. Tell us why this, the trailer made you so hot hot and sweaty. Knees uh, weak. I'm, Arms are heavy. Vomit on my sweaty already. Mom's spaghetti. I'm nervous. But on the surface, you look calm and ready to drop bombs. But I keep on forgetting when I wrote okay, down the whole crowd goes to lay out. I'm on my head. Just don't get out. Everyone, don't get out. <laughs> Tom, please continue. Tom's face. Time's up. 
over. Wow. It's over, Blau. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Snap back to Go reality. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I can I can play that game as well. <laughs> Green um, okay. explosion. Okay, little rabbit, tell us why you like Red Dead. <laughs> oh, oh I, Red Dead, uh, like cowboys western, is pretty. F- it's a, an amazing, fun environment. It was an awesome world that they uh, that they made quite some time ago. Kick us story of redemption um, and betrayal and all sorts of other uh, fun things along the way um, i know how and, the game ends it's fine and yeah i i just just the idea of that like eight years on or however long it's been because i think it was 2009 but this is a prequel right it's but a prequel that's what, the, that's what the internet's telling me so it's a prequel yes it bothers me that they've kept the name it really bothers me. It, it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It doesn't, Red Dead Redemption two before the other one. Yeah, that that kind of doesn't make sense. But I I do like the idea of going back um, into the gang that John was a part of, but not mm-hmm. playing as John. John playing as John would have been awful because we know exactly how his story ends. Um, mm-hmm. But we we I I don't actually know whether in the first game. Um, we get any word of this other guy. Um, so obviously in the first game, you like tracking down Dutch um, and a, a couple of other people um, that used to be in um, the Vanderlinde gang? Vanderlinde gang? Dutch's gang, anyway. Um, Dutch's gang is all I ever used to call it. Yeah, you, you end up killing three of them that were in that gang. Um, spoilers. Spoilers. Um, there was you, John Marsden, and then obviously a couple more characters, um, and we're getting to play as one of those couple more characters. Are you playing as one oh, of the ones the, you the, the world looks beautiful. Um, bank robberies and trains, heists, um, fucking animals to get killed by in ridiculous fashions again. We've got a new Miss McFarlane on there. Um, Lasso and horses and dual wielding pistols. I, hate I think that. it's just yeah. My, my uh, it's it's a rock star game, with. and if you haven't played Red Dead and GTA Five, then you probably don't know why that should be quite so exciting. But no. one I'm of my pumped. least one I'm of my for a couple of reasons. One, using the knowledge that they um, gleaned from GTA Five and GTA Online, I hope Red Dead's going to be amazing. Um, I think it's going to get delayed again. I think it's going to get delayed leads once more. Nah. Yeah, nah. I reckon, I reckon it gets delayed once more. And, uh, yeah, it, as a fan of the series, it slightly bothers me that they've just named it Red Dead Redemption 2 um, because the change in names was cool. Um, I like that... I enjoy that the main character is not the stereotypical cowboy. Does not seem to be the cookie-cutter... Like, John was a cookie-cutter cowboy. Yeah. It was just very... If you think of Cowboy, John is most likely what you're going to get. Um, I like the look of this new character. I like... I like I like that they're building more characters up. Um, because GTA Five does that really well. They build characters up that you really like. So, I'm excited. I'm, I've am i got tempered... Tempered... Um, hype for the Expectations. Oh, I think it's going to yeah, blow you away. Don't worry I think, about I it. I hope it blows me away. And that's why... I'm tempering my hype for it so I don't get disappointed if it's not. So I hated the um, lassoing and all that bullshit in the first, like from what I've played so far. Anything involving lassoing horses and any of that crap? So I think so, I think we you will get, or you will have to lasso a horse or two, but I think the, the way that the first game, well, it's the second Red Dead game, but Red Dead Redemption went, you kind of did a tutorial that was far too long and um, mm-hmm. you played through the the meat of the game and then at the end of the game you basically play through the fucking tutorial again um <laughs> which which was painful because um, I, I i played red dead again at the start of this year i played through it in january um and i think particularly if you compare it to like gta 5 um they have Rockstar in general have learned a lot about um, 
I would say games and mechanics um, and the way that they're going to teach you these things. So I, I don't expect, even if we... We won't get a similar story, but I, I don't think um, we're going to get that, a repeat of some of is, the things that were, were Red Dead's um, to that to its detriment. Is it one of your most anticipated games for next year? Oh, then? no doubt about it. Right. I think anything from Rockstar, in my personal opinion, I'm anticipating. I, I, think, like it's... I think Red Dead 2 is like take a week off work kind of level. I will, That's pretty impressive. I will I will take time off work to play and just be immersed in Wild West ish. Um I think we're we're it seems to be much further north than will, the previous game, which was sort of um in like Texas y Mexico area. Um I can't remember exactly. Um, yeah, but I, I think we're much further north in the mountains, um, snow and plains and lakes and things. Scenery, yeah, which I'm excited for. Much it looks the, the thing I'm looking forward to the most, as someone who hasn't finished the game yet, um, is finding out what they're going to do with the multiplayer. Yeah, because like just looking at just looking at GTA Online and going right. That was your big thing. GTA 5 came out, but really the reason most people are still playing GTA 5 these days and like why that game's still being selling hotcakes is the fucking multiplayer. People get your get your expectations for that online mode in check now. I can I their geniuses at Rockstar if they make this online for Red Dead as successful as GTA Online because you don't have the options of Tron bikes and kits like Night Rider cars to release. No, but like, uh, like imagine a huge open. Oh, it's gonna be fun that side. But the thing that start your own gangs, rob fucking yeah, banks. Yeah, that's that's the thing that I'm excited for all that stuff. I'm just rob trains. I'm a bit. I don't know about the longevity of it because the reason that GTA's had such a good longevity is because it has every couple months they release these ridiculous yeah. like cars that you know mm-hmm. cost people yeah. millions. Of I don't dollars. think it has to be anything like that, but I still think. I think you should be fine to at least expect something special out of the multiplayer. Yeah. What yeah. if oh God. we get some kind of passage of time? What do you mean? In either like, Red Dead or Red Dead Online. So it starts pre um, oh, Red Dead, I guess. Um, and I don't know, the city, cities and towns grow and evolve and that's some kind of part of the multiplayer I think that would be so amazing you're, you're pl- the, the, you're, is Westworld the game built into Red Dead that's what I want I want you want Westworld the game yeah that, that is Red Dead already <laughs> yeah it is Red yeah. Dead yeah. oh but I, I'm, um, I'm thinking maybe if like the, the passage of time goes over like 20 years or something like that and you see these towns and stuff build up and I, I think I've just always liked that idea in a Almost like a Sim City kind of way. As time passes, the buildings grow, your your areas develop and grow out, and stuff like that. I think yeah. Rockstar could do something really incredible like that. Um, it, it kind of happen organically around you. Um, mm. They probably five years or however long they've been developing this probably isn't quite long enough. Maybe, no. but I, I reckon that's one something of the I want to see. Pushed is because of the online. Sorry. I reckon the delay is like the online. Has to be. The they do not player. want the same thing to happen to GTA Online that happened yeah. with GTA Online. That was a, that was the only black mark on that game was how they launched GTA Online. What it happened came to out, it? It came out like a month or two after the game was released, or a couple of weeks after the original the game was released, and then it came out kind of half baked. Like it was broken. You couldn't get into servers. Um, the mm. servers weren't stable. Um, I think I played a grand total of about 15 minutes of GTA Online. Like, first mission was go and get a haircut or something like that or go and buy some clothes. Mm. I was like, I feel like I've just done this already for, like, 50 hours or something in the main game. Why do I want to do this in a far less popular world where there are other idiots that are just going to try and go, oh, no, somebody already killed me. (laughs) And so I quit. (laughs) Fair enough. All right, let's move on. Red Dead, everyone's looking forward. I guess I'm. Oh, I'm, yeah. I think. I'm intrigued. I hope that we see John and it's something that people can keep as a secret 
Um, it's, we have I don't think it's some... going to be a secret. You, you're going to see John at some he'll point. Be, he'll be in the next trailer. We have... Nah. He'll be at like the end of the next trailer. I want it yeah. to be like Crash Bandicoot kind of, uh, nah. kind no. of thing. Nah. No and, way. Not happening. And I no. also don't want to play as multiple characters. That was annoying in GTA. Like that I, was an I. I quite liked it in GTA, but I I don't want to be three fifths of Dutch's gang or something really annoying like that. I I want to be this character, and I want to make a bet. I want to see through his story. I reckon it's multiple characters. I'd also like to point out at this in, in this juncture, while Tom and Dylan have a stare off, Red Dead Redemption One had maybe the stupidest start or reason for your character to need to relearn things ever, that he literally rolled up on a fortress by himself and got shot. Got shot. Like, yeah. that was the dumbest thing. I was yeah. like, what? I remember I, I was playing it, it was like, hey, I'm here to fucking talk shit. Bang, dead. I'm like, right, well, game <laughs> over like then. There's like five guys <laughs> all up on the, on the wall. You're like... Yeah, I think if you watch my fucking stream, in fact, when he wakes up <laughs> in the house and that girl saved him, I'm like... Why'd you help him? John John is honestly the dumbest motherfucker I've ever met. Like, why did he? Why did we just do that? Yeah, that was ridiculous. Because <laughs> he's cookie cutter cowboy. He's cookie cutter cowboy. Can take it all by himself. To be fair, he didn't have to learn everything again. He was helping Bonnie out at her farm because she had saved oh, his life. Oh, oh, but herd, herding those cows and they end up running oh. running off the cliff because of the fucking lightning. Oh yep. god damn it! If I have to do that again. <laughs> Zero out of ten. If I have to do that again, I'll, yeah. Well. I've done. Right, it, I've done on. it twice in my life already, and that's enough. Trophies? No, no tro- trophy talk. But trophy talks happening anyway because we're going to do another one of Michael C's questions in the. I don't know. He said in his email. He said every letter counts. Every every letter email d- counts. Ev- yeah, every email every counts. email counts. Hashtag when they all come Hashtag to Michael. <laughs> thanks, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Michael. Thanks, Michael. All right. Let's tackle. Let's. I picked a. He's like our he, he big Tony like, style. He sent, through, he sent through like ten questions. We'll do another one. I, I picked one that would work for Tom being here. Whoa, do you use screenshots or video guides for to get specific trophies? Hell yeah! To which yeah. the answer is, Hell who yeah. fucking doesn't? Hell yeah! PS3 trophies dot org. Are we right? Oh, Tom? was that? I I, I was. Already under the assumption that we were using a guide, and I thought it was whether we use screenshots. Or videos, not do we use screenshots oh. and videos. It says, do you use screenshots or video guides to get specific trophies? Uh, yes. Grammatically is, do you use them? Which is, Michael, I think you just wasted our time with the question. Because of course. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. Yes, 100% I do use guides. If Okay, where are your, where are your three go-to places? Does the YouTube channel PSN trophies? No, 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 no. So you go to Brian, PlayStation Trophies. Tro- PlayStation Trophies. That's PlayStation Trophies. Dot org, and they're the ones. Is he Brian? No, Is there's Brian this, videos? there's two different dot ones, and I can I can guide, never so. remember what the uh, which which ones Power which. Picks? But there's there's ones with um, the top that's hidden, and you have to click the show spoilers for it to give you the information. Yeah, um, that's PS3 Trophies. That's PS3 it Trophies. There's PlayStationTrophies.org then that's slightly different UI, but basically the same guides. <laughs> it's just like a forum. I prefer mm-hmm. that one. And then I will also go to the guide on PSN Profiles because you See, already like know that I don't much. watch YouTube. You already know that yeah. I don't do stuff. <laughs> Why I will, not? Oh. I will follow... Do you never use videos for like specific collectibles? Like, like if you're playing a game and it's just sometimes easier. I just have like the, vi- the walkthrough open and you just like watch a minute... Well, they show you where the collectible is, pause video, go to collectible, unpause, next collectible, pause video, and you just do that. The only... Uh, t- twice. Twice I can think of that I've used a video over... Excuse me. Is it an order? Over a written guide. 84? Eight, it was 1886, it and I didn't need a trophy guide. <laughs> it was 1884 by Nick's standards, but... It, it was, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, where's, where's 1887? No. Um... <laughs> Just this past weekend for Wolfenstein, the whatever it's called, old the blood, old blood, the old blood, doing the nightmare levels um, mm-hmm. with um, because they're f- ridiculous and stupid. I just followed a, a video guide and basically mm-hmm. had I was just watching and playing at the same time, doing that multitask. 
uh, and then Tesla Grad that I also played a, a couple months ago. Yeah, I, I used I used a video for I, that too. I followed a speed run video of that to get mm-hmm. uh, to get what I needed. Um, otherwise, I am like I'm reading through the the website written trophy guide, and I'll just hit play on whatever video is there if the written description isn't good enough for me. Or so if you I, do use videos. If I follow the the written description. And I can't figure it out. Having tried it on the PlayStation, I'll probably hit play on the video. Got him. Got him. I just... What? <laughs> I've only used two, but... Well, I can't, I I can't think of specific examples, them. but what I don't do is go to YouTube and be like, particular trophy um, kind of thing, you know? I just right. realized that Thanks. pretending to type on my desk probably isn't great for the microphone. <laughs> yeah probably not let's no. be honest all right yeah I, I there's no way you don't use i use whatever i can it's like ps3 trophies dot org is like my go-to just like search for a trophy guide go there um if i need to watch if i want to watch like a video walkthrough or something like that a lot of time i reckon like brian on youtube playstation trophies or ps4 trophies whatever he's YouTube's called, I can't actually remember. He's go to on YouTube or PowerPixes. Yeah, pa- um, PowerPix is, uh, uh, is a name that I definitely recognize. Yeah, those two are like my main YouTube ones. I don't use PSM profile guides. Um, I reckon the layout, it just annoys me for some reason. I, I've never used them on there, so uh, I don't use those. But yeah, the, the main ones, I don't really want to watch videos either. I'd rather just read text because it's like, if I have to, I'd rather read a paragraph of text and it takes me about 10 seconds to read it. And if I can understand what I've got to do from that, cool. Instead of watching like a two minute video for me to understand what you're trying to tell me, it's just like, just, just, just tell me, please. Yep. And with that, that's exactly what I'm saying. Um, and one thing I did notice the other day, I always, when I Google one, I look for the trophy guide that's got the little squiggly line in it. You know, the one that's like, that's right underneath escape. That's like, um, approximately, it always has like, it's got the, 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 Name what? of the game, and then that, and then trophy guide. I don't know. It's a formatting thing that, uh, and I, I will <laughs> if there are not. No, there'll be. It, it means it's from a particular site, I'm sure. So if I'm looking down the the Google search, and there's one, it's ah oh, cool. There's the one that I want. I know. I, I know I'm going to get the goods when I click on that guy. <laughs> that was so pointless. True story. <laughs> While we're, while we're on this question from Michael, I'll also like to shout you out, Michael, because recently opening up my Twitter and looking at your tweets from you experiencing The Witcher 3 for oh, the first yeah. time has been fantastic. It's really enjoyable. So thank you. Keep up the great work. What's his, uh, what's his Twitter handle, <laughs> I, do you remember? I would shout out his Twitter, but I can't remember his Twitter. Yeah, I can't remember off, off the top of my head either. I'll get it. It's That's fine. Tr- I remember all you guys' Twitter because I have to say them sometimes. Other than that, everyone else can get fucked. I don't remember anyone's tw- Twitters. At you find his it well name. Th- it's just at his name. I don't okay, want to say so his surname because I can't say it. Attempt it. You've, Coo- you've fucked yourself. Cow card? Coo card? Spell it. C O U A C A U D? Cool. Cl- go find his Twitter, then go find his store, buy his um, photographs. Buy things. Look Thank at you. this photograph. Oh, Michael geez. made it and he made me. Oh laugh. my god, no, we're not seeing you that one. <laughs> okay, hashtag every trophy counts. Let's wrap up the show, the final segment. Talk about some trophies. Uh, I want to quickly shout out again to Danger Romper for anyone who cares. The trophy is very much similar to Danger Romper one or two trophies. Um, there is not a guide for it yet because it only came out last week. So I'm just not going to go back to it until there is a guide because. The main part of the trophies for that game is playing an extra mode where it's basically about just building your social links and like trying to date characters and stuff. But you have to like give them the correct gifts and like say the correct stuff to them so they like you. And it's just a whole of a lot easier when someone's like, they like these things. They like it when you do this. Da, 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 da. So yeah, ps3trophies.org, someone on that website, write me a fucking guide so I can go and get the platinum for that game. That'd be great. Thank you very much. If somebody wants to write the trophy guide for my life, that'd be great as well, just so I know what to say to people and what they like and what gifts they like. That would also help me. (laughs) That would be enjoyable. Your life is not a dating sim, unfortunately, (laughs) Damn. Damn, yeah. Damn. Um, So some lists that have popped. Uh, We've got South Park, of course, which 
Tom shouted out. The fractured right butthole. Now, looking at the list, looking at the list, I'm going to say that some of these are spoilers. Probably. But Probably. I, cho- I chose not to read them as spoilers. I was like, oh, that could be a random encounter. Oh, that might be a story beat. I don't know. You but don't know. there's not a huge amount of information inside the inside the. the no, so I don't know if this is a spoiler, but I'm just going to read out my favourite trophies. The, my favourite trophy says, an end to racism. Stop racism in South Park. I think that's going to be <laughs> defeat a particular person. The thing is, if, if you're looking at the list, they've all got really good images with them as well. Um, yeah, they do. I'm, they I'm, do. I'm fairly certain that that will have the particular character that you're going to have to beat or yeah. something like that. I just, no, I, I'm changing my mind. The best trophy is a gold one. The token experience, create a black character and complete the game on mastermind difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, uh, that's going to be me. That'll be your difficulty. This that's- one has to be a spoiler. I'm looking at one right now and I'm like, that is definitely a spoiler. And that's funny, but I'm not going to read that one because that Thank has you. to be like, that's like a hidden boss or like mm. a boss in the I, game that's quite funny. I think, uh, I think there are a <laughs> bunch of trophies on there. That are missable. Um, there would be probably the like one the, had a bunch of probably like the first yeah. game, but from what I read, there aren't any as shitty missable as collect every single piece of costume and accent and that yeah. kind of. Crap. You basically had to play the first one with a guide. I don't have the platinum for it. I want to go back and just do a guide playthrough to get the platinum, but I don't know. Maybe guess what? Mm. I'm probably gonna do that. And I'm yeah, probably going to do it on PS4 as well. Yeah, I want to do it on PS4 too, but they didn't give us the... Fu- don't get Nick started. They didn't give us the fucking code for pre-ordering the, the fucking game. We get it when we get the game. Yeah, but then I want to play too. Give it to me now. They're, it's not like it's one and two straight up. Well, no, they are linked, actually. I take that back. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks to backwards compatibility on Xbox, I've recently played the through South Park. Thanks, Xbox. Ovalista has popped this Dragon Dog Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, which is a pre master thing. It was actually a really good game. If you've never played that game, you're I've never bored. played it. I'm not Picked saying it's it a bad game. It's a great game. I, I remember it got really good reviews. Really I like the look of it. I've Do watched it. videos. I would like to check it out and play it. Maybe okay. I will. Do I it. probably won't, let's be honest. Stop with the head bobbing and just but keep going maybe with your, I keep will. Going with your segment. Maybe I will. Stop the and head bobbing and keep going with the segment. And that's probably one of the biggest games that's coming out this that's week. That's good. To good. Those trophies count too. On, those trophies do count. 54 bronzes though. Ew. That's Get a lot of bronzes. fucked. Get fucked. Because <laughs> I'm going to say about that. What's a, also, what's a bronze worth the, for you now? Like 0.01% <laughs> of a level yeah, or something like that? Yeah, basically. It ain't doing anything for me. It's like it's like being fucked in the ass so much. And then there like is... fu- <laughs> <laughs> you lost me there. But there is actually a table on like PlayStation trophies or something. All right, like let that me that be fair. Shows you, uh, ass or vagina. Like you've been fucked so much that <laughs> the, bronze dick, the, bronze dick isn't, the bronze dick isn't doing it for me anywhere. This has just uh, gone somewhere else. <laughs> I need them gold dicks. <laughs> and that platinum dick. And that platinum <laughs> <laughs> I can just... Oh, God, that gives plat plat a whole new connotation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Jono. <laughs> Jono, just, he just tuned out. He's probably unsubscribing from I'm the unsurprised. podcast. Um, the other list I want to chuck out is one Tom Tom made me aware to. I haven't played it yet. I brought it right before the show started because I remembered. Is that 36 Fragments of Midnight, yeah. which has got pulled off the US store. And I read that news story today. Has it been pulled I read off? The news- yeah. I read Ooh, a news story a today that the, the game got pulled off the US store. And I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot about that. I haven't brought it yet. So as soon as I got home, I turned on PlayStation. Oh, it's still there. Buy. $4.55. Thank you. I'll get the Platinum later. But... I got it. I brought it before they could pull it. What have game you, is this? Have you seen a guide it's, um, for it? It's, yeah, a guide. It said less than an hour, and there's a guide up on PlayStationTrophies.org now for it. So um, It's 11 golds, one platinum. Apparently, it takes less than an hour. It's like some platforming game it's, where you play as like a little square cube or it's, something like that. I but the trophy list like, are easy as fuck, apparently. It's just like, die to a laser, die to a saw, die to a spike. They're all golds. Yeah, I, I think the... Fragments, um, die with 36 fragments. Die, get one fragment. Gold. I think um, 
the the levels are supposed to be randomly generated or procedurally generated or something like that. So it's different every time, but it's like not good apparently. Uh, I, and I believe I saw it was. I may have even sat on here before, but um, I think it was on Switch, and people were complaining about how much it cost on Switch. Oh, really? Yeah, well, it's only 4 bucks 55 dollars so what, uh, like $18 for you? $4.85. $18? $18. Um, <laughs> the unfortunate thing is that you have to put at least $10 on your PSN account, so yeah, my credit card has that. literally just been charged $10, and <laughs> I will see what this game is like later on. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Uh, look for look at me and Tom's profiles later for a platinum in thirty six fragments. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck it's got. Thirty six so, fragments. Yeah, shout to out midnight. to that. If you want an easy platinum, get that before they decide to pull that. But you know what? It seems... Fuck you to the US because we got this. We've got this game while they've got it pulled. It fuck. seems yeah. to me like one of those easy platinums that is not in the not a game basket. Like, no, it's a real it's, game. It's, it it's like. in the it's in the taco master of. Sh- yeah. shitty game um but yeah. it'll take you a bit of time versus energy cycle where you just follow a guide or yeah um my name is mayo where you just tap it we just tap, tap a thing yeah, yeah, yeah a thousand pictures yeah. or whatever like those ones are pay for a platinum this appears yeah. to be much more like pay for I mean, a shitty fair, game that has a platinum. to be fair if you hate telltale games and those like you just think they're boring as all fuck and if you buy them just to get the platinum it's basically the same as this yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, that's that's that. is, definitely. and that's yeah. why i haven't just played through the telltale games i i because they are easy platinums and i could just buy the wolf among us for three dollars on vita and suffer through it but i don't want to suffer I, I through it it's a great this fucking fact. game well put i know I, this fact hidden gem I only say suffer through it, sorry, because it's supposed to not run very well on Vita at all, and that's why it's oh. a, it's a separate list on Vita, hidden, so on and so forth. Hidden gem: If John O'Peck ever gets close to Tom, like it's a close race, I would He's put money tell-tales. on the fact that Tom would go desperation levels and play all the Telltale games in a weekend. No, th- well, <laughs> I think that's <laughs> no, but, uh, uh, that's his trash uh, show. That's uh, his. Uh, that's his backup plan. I think that is time <laughs> impossible. And what I thought you were going to say is that I would pull out Energy Cycle on PS4 and Vita and those things, which I have said on the record I will only do if Jono does himself. <laughs> well, Jono's already got the I'm telltale. winning this legitimately. Oh my god! Let's wrap up, everyone. Uh, well, we'll thank you for listening up. to another. Let's thank you for Pigs listening to another didn't even of... mention Son of Scorgasm because it's a great no, name. No, because we've got to end the fucking show. What do you want to... Are you sure? You don't have to end the show. Fire we might be your last show. Airport Fire Fire we, actually, we actually... We actually... We actually... You, we could just go show. forever. We could just, no, we actually can't. We, we could go for the record. No, we actually can't. podcast still we, going while you're listening to it. Was, we actually can't. I was going to say that we've got... Uh, what's his name? Dan Carlin. He's got some serious podcasts... Hardcore histories. Have you listened to it at all? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oddly enough, like oddly enough, six this hour dude episodes. comes into work. This this dude comes into work today that works at a different site, <laughs> and he's uh, he's like, oh, you don't have a radio here. I'm like, no, nah, we don't. Our radio broke. We just never bothered. Like, just listen to music on your phone or something. And he's like, all right, I'll chuck on a podcast. I'm like, oh yeah. Well, like, what podcast you listen to? He's like, oh yeah, like horrible histories and stuff. So that's a well-timed reference. Did you did you Hardcore slide histories. in and say, do you know about the number one PlayStation podcast in the Oceanus? No, because I, I if he if he'd been like, oh, I listened to like game podcasts or something, I was like, but he was like, I like listening to people talk about North Korea and stuff. I'm like, don't listen well, to my show. I say Hitler we have another necessary. podcast that has similar <laughs> three themes. All right, you made me sidetrack my fucking self when I was trying to end the show. <laughs> Fuck all yeah, you. Yeah, no, it's good. Eh? <laughs> I have you can the follow power. Me on tw- you can follow Tom on Twitter. Tom 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 double check. T-O-M-D-A-B-O-M-8-9. Dylan, did we go through all your points you put in the, the, the chat? Do you want to double check before mm-hmm. we finish? What we didn't discuss is that Nidhogg 2 doesn't have a platinum trophy, but SteamWorld Dig 2 does. Um, oh. Steamworld Dig 1 didn't have a platinum trophy. But Kieran, where can we follow you? At your boy Ringo, or just catch me over at <laughs> twitch.tv slash Explosion Network. I'm not going to say my Twitter because I'm not getting shouted out with any. I don't get to say my Twitter on any show this week. Hey, listen, Kieran here. If you haven't heard, the Explosion Network will be streaming for 24 hours and participating in Extra Life on November 4th. 
raising money for the Sick Kids Center for Global Child Health. Head on over to explosionnetwork.com slash extra life for all the details on how you can help us, including donating, giving us some ideas for challenges, or games you'd like to see us play. October 27th to 29th, apparently Pack Melbourne's happening, and I'm going to be there with Dylan, Ash, and Jono. So feel free to come say hey if you see us on the show floor. Then, there's a disturbance in the force. On October 27th, we'll be launching a Star Wars podcast in the lead up to episode 8, The Last Jedi. Of course, our weekly shows will always continue. Pleasure Explosion Mondays, Platinum Explosions on Tuesdays, and Grandstand Gurus Thursdays. All at 12pm, catch our live streams where I like to dwell during the evenings at twitch.tv slash explosion network and keep your targets locked on explosionnetwork.com for all our explosive content. Shout out to Ben. Bye, Plat Plat. V-I-V-A-L-A-D-L. At Viva L-A-D-L. D-I-L. D-I-L. Viva Ladil. But I cut it. Did you? <laughs> oh, you probably That's did, didn't you? <laughs>